7.20 in the morning. Josh and I are on our way to my tattoo appointment. I was going to vlog when I first woke up and then was getting ready, but you know, I'm not too good at that. I did a makeup video the other day. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not because people have been asking me again how I do my makeup, which is very nothing. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to show it because I do my makeup. I, I do do it a little differently now. Like, I don't even use foundation anymore. Um, I, I really don't use much anymore. But anyway, so we're on our way to a tattoo appointment. And I am getting my Logan wedding tattoo covered up. Finally, after eight years. <laughs> um, the reason I have not gotten it before is not because I haven't wanted to. It's just because... Um, West, my arm hurts already. Um, uh, I should have brought my selfie stick. Um, no, it's not because I haven't wanted to, it's just because I wanted to think of a design that I really liked that I would want to have up there, um, you know, quite visible, and something that I like the heart, the actual heart itself, so I wanted to keep that and incorporate that into a design. And so finding out what to do and how to do it and all that was not too easy. And then I had to find an artist that I thought could pull it off because around here there's a bunch of nothing. Love you. Oh, I'm going to use this to brace my arm because I'm not used to holding up phones. All right. Here we go. So um, it's not that I didn't want um, the tattoo covered up. It's just that... Oops. I wanted something that I could live with and that I really liked because, you know, at the time when I got the tattoo, it actually meant something to me. It was a wedding tattoo. It was something that we designed together. It's got, you know, our handwriting on it and it was just supposed to be something really, really good. And, the, you know, the marriage fell apart. He doesn't exist as Logan anymore. And, you know, with someone else, I'm remarried. I don't want to see my ex-husband's name on my arm. So... I needed something special, something I would love, and that, you know, meant a lot to me, that I, well, not, it doesn't mean a lot to me, it's just something I just want. This was, um, not a tattoo I wanted to keep, and I have to Photoshop, you know, the words out of it whenever I take a picture, and, and that gets really tiring. I have been meaning to cover it, like, ever since he and I split up but I just didn't really know what I wanted to put there um, because I want to keep the heart. I found the heart design and while it's quite plain and simple, I really like the way it turned out and I just want to get rid of his name or anything personal or having to do with him and turn it into something more me, you know, and with something that's that big and in that small of a space because, you know, my arm's quite covered. I don't really have a lot of room to work with. I don't have a lot of options in front of me, so it took a lot of thinking and debating and, you know, I, I've been looking for a tattoo artist in the area because, you know, I wanted to get my face done and there's a couple of other things I wanted done and, you know, even the shop that I, I was at before, um, they're not really that good. Um, it's like everybody has the, the really lazy mentality here of just doing subpar work with everything. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just this little area that I'm in here. And um, it's been really hard to find someone who, who does the kind of work that I like and that I would want on my body. And I finally, finally found a shop that I thought was pretty good and they ended up being really, really nice. And I talked with a girl about it and she said that was her style and she'd be able to do it. So we're headed there now. And, um, you know, I asked if we could film and she said we could film a little bit. They don't really want a lot of filming. We have got our masks and everything. And, um, yeah, so we're going to go and see how much we can get filmed. And I'm, it's on my upper arm, so I'm going to apologize ahead of time for my big fat wings. that are going to be flapping and flopping around. <laughs> um... So yeah, hopefully it goes good, and hopefully I'm happy with the end result, you know, because you never know, and I'm, I'm like a picky bitch now. Hard to find a 
design that I wanted that would actually work with what I already have. Because I know, like, the heart itself wouldn't be hard to cover, but I like the heart. Yeah. No, I think it's... and I've got my arm done it is um, all wrapped up and from what I saw of it it looks amazing she put some spider webs uh, underneath just to kind of help block out other parts of it but she did I mean I've, I haven't looked at the videos yet Josh took some videos for me um, she was super super nice like she was really really friendly give us some stickers um, her uh, fiance works there as well and so he um, he made this sticker and you know these are some other stickers and, but uh it was it was enjoyable um josh was like wow the whole time and we need to get him a tattoo because i've gone to now and he's gotten none but this one this was like a necessity like i just really needed to get that name off of me and it was a long time coming i just i just really really needed that gone and i feel so much better now every trace of our anniversary or you know marriage is gone so I can you know um, so I will update it I will update after it continues to heal and I take the wrapper off whenever I do and um, I'll just show it it'll probably heal pretty well and um, yeah I'm happy <laughs>